Master Kenway. Master Kenway. Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle in. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives, I thought... Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say, but I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. Thief! Someone stop him! Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover. Hold a moment. I need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. This accursed city will be the death of me. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Hatham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but... You seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But, should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. Well, that was interesting.
increase in the frontier as both French and British forces attempt to draw Indian allies to their side. We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not pry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Aye. William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the Order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause, and you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. Evening, gentlemen. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow in you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink. How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <clears throat> Oh, I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Churchwell. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. Wonderful. Charles? Sir? Seems like we're not the only ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. I'll show you how. Should we write his family, do you think? Not our business to meddle, even if we've the best of intentions. 
But if you could have seen it, they were surely drunk carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. People of Boston, the earthquake on Cape Ann has demolished homes and churches. Help rebuild them if you are able. Pray. Scandalous behavior from one who aims to be a surgeon. Not likely if he keeps up such carousing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. Time to take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. without cause will set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. And forget it. The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it.
they waved me away. Insisted it was all under control. How odd. Did they say what had happened? No. Only that it was a trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though. So I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Where were they taking him? Towards the hilltop. Perhaps there's a doctor at the fort. looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat to the road. <laughs> Good call, that. See, Charles? We'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses, and we begin to know the world in a different way. well guarded. We need to slip past them. I'll have to find the key. Wait here.
know that. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very gauche. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe. I take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe. I take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe. I take his cock. Put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. No! Hold a moment! Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas! I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <clears throat> a quick little swipe and no more ears. How's that sound, Mr. Church? At least I'll be spared more of your name. Right. A little bit from here, a little bit from there. Make myself a nice keepsake, I will. Who... Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I... I, I don't understand. Why are you here? Walk with me, Mr. Church. And all will be explained. 